I am looking pale. Good morning. No, it's not morning. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. My name is Kira. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I love you. So today, I'm going to do this video in kind of like two days, but in one video. Because today, I am going to the hair salon. I'm going to Nalu Salon, which is my favorite salon. I love them so much. I trust them so much with my hair. I haven't been there since... I think November or December, so my hair is looking like you can see a line, right? And then I've got some nasty regrowth coming through, so I'm gonna go to the salon, get myself fixed up, and it's gonna be amazing. And then tomorrow I'm going to the dentist. And normally the dentist seems really boring, but the dentist here compared to Australia is like really cheap and they're really, really nice. I've already been once. So I'm gonna talk you through the costs and the process of finding an English speaking dentist in Japan as well as an English speaking hair salon. So without further ado, let's head to Motisando. now I pretty much just told Sinata Sam that I trust her once again and she can do whatever she likes I still have this really dark ready patch from when I went purple at Halloween and then it's super light at the end it looks lighter on camera than it does in real life it's kind of caramel yellow in real life my hair is so dry and it's so disgusting but I know Sunata san will be able to just bring it back to life, as she does every time. If you guys are interested in seeing Sunata san I'll leave her Instagram in the description box down below. We're gonna cut it a little bit too, to kind of frame the face, I guess. I haven't had layers in my hair. I don't even remember how long it's been. So I'm excited to try something new. <laughs> the menu is in English now. How exciting. I think I'm gonna get a strawberry banana latte maybe. I think there's a theme going on. These things, these little ear covering things are great. <laughs> Especially when you go to like wash your hair. They're so handy. Sexy. My hair is cut now. Oh wow, it feels so much shorter. <laughs> and wow, it really does feel so much shorter. My ends were disgusting though, like Sonata san couldn't even get a comb through them. They were so dry and brittle and just gross. And we're gonna highlight now. Yay. I keep looking in the mirror, sorry. Hit me. Let's get brighter and lighter. Spring is coming. Just before I had highlighters in my hair, we washed them out and 
and they put an Olaplex treatment on my hair. Olaplex is an Australian company and if you're ever dyeing your hair lighter or bleaching it, I would highly recommend using Olaplex. It is the only thing that will like keep your hair on your head. Um, I'm not sure what's going on now. We've got like a darker colour happening on top of the highlight here. But we're gonna leave this on for five minutes and then give it a rinse. I'm getting one of those treatments again right now. If you saw my first ever vlog from here, you would have seen this. So <laughs> you would have seen this treatment. It's not heat or anything like that. They put the treatment on your hair and then these devices kind of like vibrate it through your hair and your hair feels amazing afterwards. And we're done, oh my goodness. It looks and feels just amazing. I came in here with like ratchet yellow hair and I'm leaving here looking like a snack. I am obsessed. Feels so good. A haircut with layers which as I said I haven't had in years I had highlights put through and then an all-around color put on top I had a treatment the ion treatment washed through and then a blow dry in style and I'm loving it thank you for watching this part and I'll see you guys tomorrow so it is about a week, a week and a half later. I am here at Hitomi Dental Office in Akasuka. I, I, they speak English, I've been here once before. I got my x-rays and my teeth cleaned and that only cost me about 4,000 yen for two different types of x-rays, a checkup and my top teeth are uh, clean, like my gum, my gum, my gums cleaned. Today I'm gonna go in and get a filling. It's quite a shallow filling. It's not causing me pain or anything like that. And I also need a really, really deep filling on like a root canal soon. Um, so I'm in a lot of pain and they couldn't clean my bottom teeth. So after I've got the needle for the filling, they're gonna clean my bottom teeth and hopefully I don't feel it. I do need quite a lot of work done. I, I need two fillings, proper cleaning and four wisdom teeth out. And it's really, really cheap to get your wisdom teeth taken out here. In Australia, it's like $500 a tooth or something ridiculous. And here it's like 5,000 yen, which is like $50. So. It's super cheap. I'm just such a wuss, honestly, but the, the staff here are so friendly. Last time I came, they were like really calming. They asked me exactly what my issues were with the dentist, why I was afraid, what I thought was gonna happen. They just calmed me down. Like they're so friendly. They just talk to me, small talk. They're lovely. So I would definitely recommend here. I go to Dr. Nao uh, here at Hitomi Dental in Akasuka, and I will link them down below if you're interested. But for now, I've gotta go in. To the chair i won't film in there because i don't have permission but I'll see you guys in a second okay so i just finished up i'm gonna talk to you guys with a mask on because I had a lot of numbing in this side of my face and it probably looks fine. No. <laughs> oh my god, so it's really droopy. Um, so what I had done was like a scaling, I guess, of my bottom teeth. It's like a really crazy water drill that will just like clean your teeth. Um, and then I had a porcelain filling. Porcelain, like the white fillings, the porcelain fillings are kind of hard to come across in Japan because they're not, they're not usually covered by health insurance. So the fact that they did that was really good. If, like other places, if they do do them, it's really expensive. So I think, I don't know. I don't actually think I had a cavity. Maybe I did, maybe a small one. It was a very, very shallow hole, like a very shallow filling. So they did that and the, um, was it called? Scaling. And it came to 2,320 yen. Like what? My bill is so ridiculously cheap. In Australia, like last time I got a filling, it was $350. <laughs> so it's covered by like health insurance here, you pay 30%. And the government, 
covers um, 70%. So it did come to like 7,000 yen, but it was brought down to 2,000 yen, which like I want to go back and get everything done. I do need like a proper full cleaning, but that's going to cost like Ichiman yen, like 10,000 yen, which is like $100. Maybe I'll get it done before I go, but they had a look at my wisdom teeth and because it's right on my nerve and on my bone they're gonna have to send me to a university hospital um, and so they will give me a referral letter then so I can go to the hospital and they said they'll try and find me an English speaking place to go to they are so friendly oh my god like I was shaking okay I have like seven tattoos like 14 piercings but that needle <laughs> It scares the crap out of me, but it wasn't bad at all. Like, at all. They put like a little numbing cream on you first, and then they put the needle in. And like, it was like, they put it in, I don't know, in Australia, they put it in and it, like, they do it really quickly. So then they pull the needle back out really quickly. And that I think is the worst. When they pull the needle out, that's the worst feeling for me. But it took so long. Like she just slowly, slowly, slowly put the numbing stuff in. So by the time she took the needle out, I didn't feel it. But they did put it in twice, so there's a lot in there, so that's why my face is like hella droopy. But they're so friendly, just, they know how nervous I am, like I'm shaking. I, I'm, like for one, I'm really, really, really embarrassed about my teeth. And for two, I'm so scared of pain. I'm embarrassed about my teeth because like I didn't get my wisdom teeth out. And it's made all my teeth really crooked. And so I have to get braces soon and my wisdom teeth out and a feeling, I don't know, I'm just really embarrassed about my teeth. So, you guys have probably noticed over the past year my bottom teeth have gotten worse and worse but that's because my wisdom teeth came through and made them all crooked. Anyway, less about me, more about them. They're amazing. Dr. Nao here at Akasaka is so friendly. She's so nice. Like, like oh, I just, like, the stuff. The dental assistant, also so friendly. The receptionist, so friendly. They're all like fluent in English. They're all so nice. Like they will just talk to you and like calm you down. Talk you through everything, like no rush, nothing like that. I can't, I can't recommend Hitomi Dental enough. I had a really good experience. And I hope you guys do, if you guys, hello, I'm not in focus. If you guys do end up going there, please tell them that you heard about them from me. <laughs> because I just want them to know that I think they're great. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the English speaking salon and English speaking dentist. I hope that I can help um, some English, you know, people that don't speak Japanese like me. I hope I can help you guys out a little bit. I am gonna go home and nurse my numb face. It doesn't hurt at all, by the way. I feel nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll leave all the details for both Nalu and for Hitomi down below so you can check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, and how cute is this? It was my birthday the other day. So they gave me a toothbrush and some sensitive toothpaste because I have sensitive teeth. Is that not like...